All right, guys, so for this trick, we need the spectator to go ahead and take the cards and just give them a very, very thorough shuffle just so that they know that the cards are completely mixed up and that there is no order to the cards whatsoever. You guys can see all the cards completely random, just like so. So now what's gonna happen in this trick is I'm going to explain to you a very advanced sleight of hand technique, which is actually called shuffle tracking. Now, this is actually what it consists of. So basically what it is, is as I was watching you shuffle just a moment ago, I was trying to keep track of some very, very specific cards in the deck, okay? And those specific cards are actually the four aces. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is shuffle the cards in such a way so that I will be able to cut exactly to the four aces within this shuffled mess. So let's see if I can do it. Here's the first one, the ace of clubs right on the money. As you guys can see, one card more, one card less would have been a completely different card. So let's try the second ace now. Let's cut in the middle. And there we go, the ace of hearts. One card more, one card less would have been a completely different card. And as you guys can see, there are no breaks in the cards. These are completely normal cards. This could even be a borrowed deck. So there are no breather crimps, nothing like that. No short cards, completely normal cards. So let's cut to the next ace over here, the ace of diamonds. As you guys can see, one card more, one card less would have been a completely different card. So as you guys can see, I really am cutting from the middle of the deck. And the last ace over here, I'm not quite sure where it is, but I think all I have to do is cut to it. I think it's about 37 cards down. Yeah, right about there. There's the last ace, the ace of spades. And that is the trick, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So this trick is actually known as Ed Marlowe's Miracle Aces Routine, and this is by far one of the best, if not the best, ace cutting routine that I've ever seen, because it's so easy, and it's actually really, really powerful to the spectator. So I will be teaching you guys like a beginner version and the advanced version. So if you want to do the beginner version, it requires a setup. But if you wanna do the advanced version, you guys can do this impromptu. The deck can be completely shuffled. So I'll just first teach you guys the beginner setup just so that you guys can know what the setup is. So if you guys are beginners, this is all you have to do. Take the aces out of the deck and you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards or 16, doesn't really matter. I usually do 15 cards and just turn them over face up here on the table. All you're gonna do now is take an ace, place it down and then take another random card, set it down. Take an ace, and then a random card. Ace, random card, and then ace, and then you can just set the rest of the deck on top. And what that does is it places the aces in the 16th, 18th, 20th, and 22nd position in the deck. There's always gonna be one random card in between each ace, just like this. So if you are beginners, this is what you're gonna do before you even go up to the spectator. You do this earlier, and then you will be able to go up to your spectator after this is set up, and you can do some false shuffles or false cuts. You guys can just shuffle a couple cards off the bottom like this, and then just place them right back on the bottom. That will not disturb the top half of the deck. And now you're ready to do the trick. And when I edit this video, I'll put a timestamp here in the video for the beginner so that they can skip to the rest of the trick for how it's done. But now I'm actually gonna get into the advanced tutorial which is essentially just how to set up this deck, how to get into this exact setup here so that the aces are 16th, 18th, 20th, 22nd from an impromptu shuffled deck situation. So that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys right now. So obviously there are many, many ways to set up the aces. And since you guys are advanced magicians, you guys can really come up with any way that you want to, any way that you can think of to set up these aces. These are just a couple of ideas that I like to use. One idea, if you guys want it to be completely impromptu, like completely, a borrowed shuffle deck of cards the aces are going to be legitimately lost within the center of the deck somewhere it doesn't doesn't really matter and the spectator is going to shuffle this deck to their heart's content so you have no idea where these aces are in the deck and at this point if you guys want this to be truly impromptu all you got to do is have the spectator hand you the deck back and all you're gonna do is you can spread through the card and say look we have all these cards here completely shuffled and then all you got to do is look for the aces and just call them to the top. So each ace, you're just gonna take out like this and just call them to the top. And this is uh, a pretty advanced way to do it if you guys wanna do it that way, but there you go. I've just controlled each ace to the top of the deck. I'm not gonna get into an in-depth tutorial of a call. I'm just gonna assume that you guys already know how to do this because 
you guys are advanced magicians. That's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is also you can actually just have these palmed out beforehand or you can control these to the bottom before you even hand the deck over to the spectator. You hold a pinky break and you gamblers cough them out of the deck and now you, the spectator can go ahead, cut the deck, shuffle the deck as much as they want to. And then when you take the deck back, actually you would have them copped face up like this so that now you can have the spectator shuffle the deck like this. And all you gotta do is just load those aces back onto the top of the deck. So now those aces are on the top already set up for you. That's just in case you guys don't wanna do a cull. So you can use any approach to get the four aces from a shuffle deck to the top of the deck without the spectator seeing. So those are just two possibilities. There are obviously many more, but once the aces are here on the top, this is how you're going to get a card in between each of the aces. And you probably saw it in the performance. Uh, you're just gonna perform a Pharaoh shuffle. And now it does not have to be a perfect Pharaoh shuffle. That's actually the beauty of this because I know a lot of you are probably like, oh wait, I can't really do a perfect Pharaoh shuffle. Neither can I. I can't really even do a perfect Pharaoh Shuffle. I can only do it sometimes. Um, but the only thing you'd really have to do is make sure that the top aces here get a card interlaced between each and every ace. And that is the way that this trick will work. So just make sure that you can get a card. There you go. So as you can see, like the middle is not perfect there. I'll, let me focus the camera. So yeah, as you guys can see, like the middle of the deck here is not really perfect. But as you guys can see, the uh, top half of the deck, or the very... The first couple of cards are pretty much perfect. And then all you gotta do from there is note whether uh, the ace gets shuffled to the top or whether it's second from the top. And that will help you determine how many cards you need to shuffle off from the bottom. So I know that the ace is on the top now. So all I gotta do is do that. So now look, I have an ace, random card, ace, random card, ace, random card, and then ace, random card, just like that. So at this point, all I need to do is make sure I know that my ace is on the top. If my ace is on the top, all I need to do is shuffle 15 cards singly from the bottom. And then if my ace is second from the top, so if my ace was this card over here, then I would need to shuffle 14 cards to the top. And that will place the ace in the 16th position. So I remembered that my ace is on the top from the shuffle. And all I do now is I just shuffle eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Square that up and then I do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is all during their presentation and the patter when you're telling the spectator about shuffle tracking and how you're gonna cut to the aces. So right there, when you shuffle those cards, you are now set up in the exact position that I showed you before. It's just that you did this from a completely shuffled deck of cards and now you're ready to do the trick. All right, so welcome back beginners. This is how you're gonna do the rest of the trick and also advanced magicians as well. The rest of the tutorial for everybody. This is the secret of the trick. You are literally cutting to the aces from the middle of the deck. That's all you gotta do. You just have to practice cutting uh, between 16 to 25 cards. That's like the approximate range. So it's a little bit less than half of the deck. That's all you gotta do. So just practice cutting a little bit less than half the deck. And there are two possibilities that can happen. The first possibility is the ace will either be here. And the second possibility is the ace will either be on the face of the pack. So in this case, I cut a little bit less than half the deck. And there you go, the ace is right there on the face of this pack right over here. And now all I have to do is show, look, one card less would have been this card. I just take the top card from this half on the table and say that this card would have been also a random card. All I do now is take this half, place it on the table, and the single card goes on top. What that does is it displaces that one random card, so now it will be back to ace, random card, ace, random card again, so that you can do this exact same process again. So all you gotta do is cut the cards again anywhere you want to, and immediately I know that this is a random card because I'm looking at it. So then I immediately know that this is going to be an ace over here. So that's going to be the second ace over there. And you guys can see this card is a random card and this card is also a random card. Then you take this, put it on top, and then this goes on top as well. Square it up. And at this point, I like to say, look, there are no breaks in this deck. This is a completely normal deck of cards. And at this point, you're gonna do the third ace, so just cut a little bit less than half the deck, and hopefully you'll get it. It really does just take practice, so if you guys don't get it with the first couple of tries, don't worry, just gotta practice it, and you will be able to get it. It's almost 100% guaranteed, once you practice this trick, that you will be able to cut to an ace. So at this point, I cut randomly, and here I can see the ace is on the face, so I just show the spectator, boom, I cut to the next ace over there, and I show, look, one card less would've been that card, one card more would've been this card. Now at this point, I actually don't have to do this section. This is actually what I like to do at this point. I just place this card back on the top and I like to riffle shuffle these two halves together. So the only thing you gotta do is shuffle the bottom two cards of the right hand packet first. So those are gonna be the first two cards that go down. And now you can shuffle the cards together. And the only thing you gotta do now is shuffle the last two cards of the left hand pile 
to the top. So just make sure the first two cards down are from the right hand side and the last two cards down are from the left hand side. That's all you gotta do to make sure that this next part will work. So once you do that, there are now two possibilities and two outs to the trick. The two possibilities are that the last ace is either gonna be the second card from the top or the second card from the bottom here. So it could be this card, but you're gonna flip the deck over face up and you're gonna spread through the cards just to yourself. And all you're gonna do is check if that ace is second from the bottom. And right now, obviously this is not the ace. So immediately I know the ace is second from the top and there it is right there. So if the ace ends up second from the top, this is the end of the trick that I like to perform. So I say, look, you guys can see the ace is not on the bottom and you guys can also see the ace is not on the top. I show the top card and I get a break underneath the second card over there. I place the card back face up and I say, actually, can you go ahead and cut anywhere you want to in the deck? I'm gonna have you find the last ace. And I just take a double right here. So I'm holding the ace behind that six of clubs. I have them cut the deck anywhere they want to and I just place the six in jogged right where they cut. I tell them to place the half back down and then I take my fingers on the top of that six here and my thumb goes on the bottom. All I gotta do is slide that ace into the deck with my thumb. So I just push that down with my thumb and all I do now is spread through the cards and I say, look, you cut the cards anywhere you wanted to, but you placed the six right here right next to the ace. And that's a really, really powerful ending because you are cutting to the aces, but now you have the spectator cut to the ace from their shuffled deck, which is pretty insane. So that's the out uh, if the ace ends up second from the top. Now, what if the ace ends up second from the bottom? So what if the ace ends up here? Because this is definitely a possibility that can happen. Well, this is the out that I like to perform and I believe it's the one that I did in the performance. So when I flip over the cards like this and I check that the ace is there, I see, okay, boom, it's there. So I'm gonna do this ending instead. I'm gonna say, all right, I think all I have to do is cut to it. I think it's about 36, 37 cards down and I just say some random number in the deck. I riffle down a random amount and I lift it up. All I gotta do is slip cut the top card in the middle and slap the half on top. And it looks super visual when you do it quickly. Um, and it looks like the ace just appears out of nowhere. So I'm just gonna go, I think it's about 38 cards down right there. And there you go, and there's the last ace. And it's super surprising for the spectator. They're like, what the, that's so impressive. And uh, yeah, it looks super, super awesome. And then yeah, everything at this point is completely examinable. And that right there is my favorite way to perform Ed Marlowe's Miracle Aces routine. So anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Go ahead and subscribe to Steve's World TV if you have not already. He is the person that I learned this trick from and he has a lot of awesome content. So please go ahead and check him out. Anyways, guys, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. So see you guys for my next video. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to go to the hospital.